Hey, what's up everybody? It's Vin Diesel here with a little tying tip on how to help your hook, uh, particularly the on streamer patterns, ride properly through the water hook point down. Now uh, you can see this is an A-Rex hook in uh, SA220 in a size 2. Um, it's a pretty heavy wire. It should, when it lands in the water, sink with the hook point down and then as you strip it in, move basically with the hook point down uh, as you strip it from the eye. However, uh, we're going to be uh, tying up some of the uh, surf candies with these and oftentimes when I'm doing resin and a lot of bucktail, sometimes I can get an air bubble in the middle and so I just want a little assistant on helping it ride a little bit smoother and to do so we're going to add some uh, 0.025 lead wire wraps. You can also use lead free and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this up perpendicular to the hook shank. I'm not going to do it back here where I'm going to end up placing it. I'm going to hold it right here where I've got plenty of room to work with, avoiding the hook point. I'll just simply pinch it with my thumb. And then as I wrap around, I'm letting that uh, lid wire loosely wrap. I'm not trying to twist it or bind it. And we're going to do about 10 wraps. That's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then as I come down, I'm going to basically use my thumb and pinch it like so. And then what we will do is I'll push them together. I'll pinch this side and then with that tag in, I'll just kind of wrap it up and around and then I'll just give it a little smidge twist there, making sure that it's nice and tight, looks pretty good. And then I'll put it into position back here at the bend. I want the first wrap here to be about even with the hook point, um, basically where it starts to dip down. Um, every hook's gonna be different. You may need to do more, you may need to do less. The only uh, option you have is to water test it and see how they look and how they ride. And then I'm just going to take, this is some uh, Fly Tire Z Cement. I'm going to take it and I'm going to start in the middle, brushing that super glue, kind of working it in. And then I'm going to work my way towards the edges, basically building a taper of super glue to keep that in place. Um, I like to say that I'm, I'm applying the super glue two to three wraps beyond where my wraps are. And then I'm just rotating the vise so that we don't get a super glue bubble. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. I'm going to apply a little bit more. You'll know you've added too much when you've got a drip. And if you do get a drip, you can see I'm starting to get one right there just as I'm working it around. Um, all you got to do is just take your finger and dab it. And then rub it together, but don't let your fingers touch while it's drying. And you can see that's solid. It's forming up really nice. And then what I'll do is I'll take it and usually you want to use some sort of foam or styrofoam and I'll just place it in a uh, kind of a drying stage. And as you, uh, that one didn't want to stick as well as I liked. And then as you work your way, I know that this one was most recent. This one should be completely dry at this point. So when I start tying, I'll start down here and proceed up to there. And that way um, you're not getting super glue all over your fingers and dealing with a messy fly. Um, hope that helps with helping your streamers ride proper. Um, you can apply this to a lot of different, uh, you know, marabou or, or any sort of streamer that you want it to ride a little bit more straight. Um, it's a very easy and very quick uh, process. You can apply it to one fly. You can apply it to dozens of flies. And I uh, hope that helps. If you have any questions or other tips you'd like to see, go ahead and comment below and make sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.